Hey guys, this is Game Captain here, and I'm wearing my own shirt. We're going to be talking about the worst camos in Call of Duty history. Top 7. Fortunately, I couldn't find all 10. There was... Majority of camos are pretty good in these games, but, but I found 7 that are pretty bad. So, we're going to be ranking those. I'm going to be showing you from uh, best of the worst to worst of the worst. Anybody new around here, hit the subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment what your list would be, and let's get into this. Number one, Black Ops 1, Dusty Camo. This, Who thought about this camo? Who was like, oh, I want to be able to reach into my grandfather's old ass <laughs> basket of guns and pull out a dusty ass sniper rifle? Who thought about this? Who at Treyarch was like, I want my gun to be dustier? That dust is so thick, it looks like the gun barely even works. But yeah, that's pretty nasty, but we get worse from here. So on to the next one. Number six. Black Ops 2 Jungle Warfare. And this was a Black Ops 2 camo. It was a DLC camo. You'll see a trend for the rest of this video because most of the DLC camos and most of the Call of Duties are the worst ones. The base camos don't look too bad. But when it comes to DLC camos, they really mess those up pretty bad. Now, Jungle Warfare, I don't think anybody asked for this camo. Like, I will give it to them. It looks decent, but it's not very good at all. Out of all the Black Ops 2 camos that were DLCs, this is the most mediocre or the worst one, if you see it that way. Compared to things like Cyborg, Dragon Scales, it, this camo is so bad compared to the rest of the DLC camos. That's enough of this nasty camo. On to the next one. Number 5. Modern Warfare Remastered Regal Camo. I don't know what it is about this camo, but when I look at it, I think of my grandma's couches. Who at Activision hired my grandma to make weapon skins? This looks so bad, it's not even funny. I didn't play this game, but I'm kind of happy I didn't, because this camo makes you want to vomit. I think the only reason you'd buy this camo is if you were a content creator trying to make it look bad, because there's no way that you would like this camo. I wouldn't even be able to focus on shooting my enemies. I'd just be too focused on how ugly my gun is. Alright, on to the next one after this weird vomit-inducing camo. Number four, the camo that nobody asked for, nobody wanted, but we got it. Black Ops 3, Takeout. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is a camo that has mustard, ketchup, and pickles on it. I guess you can get that from the name, but why? <laughs> like, I'm a pretty big dude, but I don't want to see food on my guns. That's just really weird. Looks like you went out to get dinner at McDonald's and you actually spilled it all over your gun. And you're just like, yeah, this works anyways. Some of these camos on this list just make no sense. Like, who asked for this? Who would want this on their gun? Who wants pickles, ketchup, and, and mustard on their gun? I'll never understand. I feel like 99% of the time, camos in Call of Duty are really thought out, and they're like, wow, this really works. But this one doesn't seem like anybody thought that it, it would be a good idea, and they just did it anyways. kind of hungry now. Maybe I like the camo more than I thought. All right, number three. Black Ops 4, take it personally. Now, based on the name, it seems like it's a pretty cool camo until you actually look at it, and you're like, what is this? This is a reactive camo for the MX-9, and I don't understand why it's here. I'm not gonna lie, if I was a five-year-old looking to decorate my Lightning McQueen bed, this would be the design I'd go for. But as far as a camo in Call of Duty, it doesn't work. So I guess for all the toddlers out there, I'm sorry for putting this at number three. I guess it'd be higher up on your list. Now overall, for a reactive camo in Black Ops 4, it's very underwhelming. As it progresses, it gets better, but the base reactive, this blue and green with flames, it, it looks so ugly, it's so bad. I hope some of y'all can agree with me on that. It looks really weird. Now, number two. World at War 2, what is, let me see, wait, what is this? How do you say this? Schwein gehabt. Yeah, that one, whatever that means. For any of those that don't know, it's like a shamrock green color in World War 2? Not sure what they were thinking about this one. It looks really weird, and I don't like the whole bright green thing. It, it just, it was like somebody got a PPSH for Christmas, and they just said, this is good to go, and they just went out and fought with it. Now I go fight with Rap Present. This gun doesn't bring you any luck. Quite the opposite. I don't know what poor, poor souls went out and bought this, but I feel bad for you. Overall, pretty ugly, and it deserves its spot at number two. Now, number one. Black Ops Cold War Plague Diamond. Now, I know a lot of people like this camo, but I'll never understand it. Because to me, it looks like a toy gun that you just smacked, like, B jewels on, and you're just like, this is good to go. It looks like it's made out of plastic. I don't understand how people like this camo. It's called Plague Diamond. It looks more like you catch the plague if you look at it. It was such a letdown, because for Diamond to look so good in multiplayer, you're like, oh, Zombies has got to look awesome. And then you go over and you get Plague Diamond, and you're like, what is this? Why did I waste my time? It shouldn't be called Plague Diamond. It should be called 
pretty pink princess diamond. I'll still never understand why people love this camo, and it definitely gets number one on worst camos in my eyes. Now that's my top seven worst camos in Call of Duty history. I hope you guys agreed with me. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Captain out. Oh, he needs some milk! That guy's hurt.